my glasses are really blurry. I hope you can't tell. Hey guys, it's weekend vlog number 36 and it's Saturday morning and I was kind of like starting my day and I was like, I'm not going to start my weekend vlog yet, but I don't even I don't know why. Um, I uh, am just about to do my nails. I'm going to use this new color that I got last night because I had a crazy Friday night and um, I went to H-E-B. And I bought this nail polish and I got some groceries finally and I'm really going out on a limb. I'm doing like a dark blue uh, because that's what I'm into right now. I'm going from blue to blue. I just buy blue colors and this is a new one. It's called Bell Bottom Blues and I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm watching a movie on Netflix called Stories We Tell and I think it's just a documentary about a family. I'm not really sure what it's about yet because it just started. And uh, today is an exciting day because I... May or may not. I'm like, I'm like scared to talk about it like this because I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen yet. Um, but I might meet some doggies today and I might adopt one. I know, I've talked about this like since, since I started my weekend vlogs. So it's been 36 weeks I've been talking about this. But right now, I'm gonna do my nails and I'll show you what they look like and drink my hot chocolate and then hopefully make some coffee. Oh, right, the nails are done and they look like this. Surprise, surprise. They're not that neat. Um, I need to wash my hair and get ready to meet puppies. Ah! Okay, so I am finally started out on my nervous adventure. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I'm very nervous and I'm with my favorite friend, Thomas. Ah! And my brand new phone just took a dive. Oh my god. Okay, and sad bad news, kind of. Use the left lane to take the I-10 East ramp. Sad bad news. I had one dog that I was looking at at Bark Houston, and I uh, checked again today, and she's gone. So change of plans. We're going to the SPCA, and I'm just gonna see. We're just gonna see. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But my hopes are kind of like way up there already. And uh, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. But I'm wearing new lashes today. They're Socialize uh, Vixen. And they remind me a lot of the house of lashes I was obsessed with. I totally ruined those. And so I'm really happy I have these now. They sent me like a whole bunch of different lashes and I'm trying them all out and I'm really loving these so far. They're pretty dramatic for like what I'm wearing today slash what I'm doing, but you know, I don't care. I do have Whataburger and I need to eat it because I'm starving and I'm so nervous. <laughs> She doesn't want to say hello yet, but I don't know what to name her and we've been thinking about it um, I think I might end up asking Instagram. I have a few ideas, but I'm not sure we're going to Petco now because I don't have any dog things and She's so skinny and she's so pink. 
I don't know if I said this earlier in the video, but like all of her white is pink. They said it has something to do with fleas and since she just got spayed and she had her leg amputated, she uh, she has stitches and so she can't have a bath. So she's gonna be pink for a while, I think, which I kind of like, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm so excited, I um, had a baby. Turn right onto West Chester Boulevard. I'm a mother. Are you excited to be my dog baby? Say yes. She doesn't know what's going on right now. It's okay. Making you turn I'm just trying to be careful way. with her. Turn We're about to go West shopping. Street. I'm so excited. We just got a bunch of all of the stuff and I got her a new collar and a leash and so many things and she's a little free woman running all around and she keeps noticing herself in the mirror and it's really cute pretty much everything she does is pretty cute but she still doesn't have a name she's just skinny dog right now skinny dog why are you so skinny look at her who is that hi yeah we're gonna get some food and water for you and figure out a name for you. Ooh, do you like the camera? She's your little oh my gosh. She didn't seem like she wanted to go to the bathroom. I, that's one thing I'm pretty nervous about. I tried to read about it last night and see like, I don't know, try to learn how I'm gonna train her. I really don't know how to do anything. And I'm very unsure about my mothering skills, but I'm doing it. She doesn't say very much meeting the flamingos do you like flamingos i hope so and her new collar is on and she's bald in the back <laughs> loving it and my very very out of control tall grass she's totally accepting of that not judging me and she like bounds through it and it's hilarious hey come here oh is that not the cutest thing ever you're so good. You're good at all of life. So I just posted on Instagram and um, asked for idea name or name ideas. I'm sorry, I'm not thinking. Hi. Hi, you're so sweet. I'm so happy already. Oh gosh, it's too many ideas. You guys are too helpful. Cutie, Susie, Missy, Bella, Chanel, Betsy, Missy, Jeannie. Dottie for the dot on her head, we thought of that. Dolly or Luna, I really like the name Luna. I've actually thought Luna was a good name for like an actual daughter, um, not just my new fur daughter. Um, Cookie, Gucci, <laughs> Missy, Ruby, which we thought of Ruby too, cause she's kind of red. Nola, Luann, that's confusing. Leanne and Luann. <laughs> Can you name her Cactus? <laughs> because I oh I love Tara because I feel like a three-legged dog needs a strong name that's good thinking Rosie Blanche we thought of Blanche we were like thinking of all the golden girl names oh my gosh it's too many ideas to read Maisie that's cute Midge that's cute one of my ideas was Lula from Wild at Heart um, but I don't know if that really is Lula Lula I don't know. Not sure. I have a lot to think about right now. And I think, I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen. We're hanging out outside. Okay, so here is all the stuff I got. I'm not going to go through everything. This is the food that they gave me. Um, this is the leash. Bags. I got this because I saw it on a list of things you need. I don't know if this is the best. They said like if there's an accident inside, this will make them not go again in the same spot. I got this because I can't give her a bath for a while. These are two new toys. If y'all have suggestions for toys that you think she'd like, definitely let me know. And I got these. She did pee outside already. So I was like so excited that um, she went outside and I gave her a treat and I got this too. I don't know if I'll actually use it. It was like $3. So I've already gotten like 8 trillion suggestions for names and I definitely still can't figure it out. But she is in love with her new bed already. She knows it's hers. Oh, I'm waking her up. She's really sleepy. So I think I'm just going to chill here. 
think I might have some pizza. Because I was kind of thinking we, we could like um, go out and take her to like a dog restaurant, but she seems too tired. And I know she's still recovering, so I'm going to try to be very considerate. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with her. <laughs> Hello? We're awake. <laughs> we took a few bathroom breaks during the night. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you think? Are you not getting comfy on my neck? I can't imagine why. Do you just want to be in my mouth? <laughs> I love her. All right, we're trying to have some breakfast. And I've learned that she doesn't really want to eat out of the bowl. But if I do this, which this is ridiculous that I'm doing this, but she will eat it if I do this. Here we go. Look. If I throw it out of the bowl piece by piece, she's so crazy, but she's so skinny. So I'm like, any way she'll eat is probably healthy. You know, I just, I just want her to eat something. She's so thin. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's, I don't know. They didn't really tell me anything about why she's so skinny. Also, last night was pretty rough because, uh, I was gonna put her in her bed and put her in the bathroom and she's gonna be an independent woman, but then she was like scratching the door and crying and she was really upset and I just couldn't cope with that and I was really tired. And so I put her bed in my room. We were just laying there with the lights on for a while and she was like curled up in her bed and she seemed really happy. Hey. Hello? Oh, she went upstairs. She's a little adventure girl. What are you doing? She's like, I'm going back to bed. What are you doing up here? So she was like curled up in the bed and she seemed happy. But then it was like, nope. Once I turned off the lights, she immediately started pacing around the bed and whining. Cereal and coffee time. And doggy time. So she just pooped upstairs again. She did it last night and then she did it again. So I don't know what it is, the fascination. Well, that's, it's like when I'm down, or where it's when I'm not looking, that's what it is. And I know you have to pay very close attention, but we just came from outside. She's peed out there a bunch of times. Like we got up like three times through the night and uh, successfully peed and got treats and that was good. But for some reason, she's not down for pooping out there. We might need a baby gate too. I hate baby gates. I hate that baby gate life that people have to do. I don't know. I'm just feeling out, feeling it out, trying to figure it out. And if y'all have suggestions, I'm totally welcoming them. And I can't speak right now, so I'm just gonna stop. Okay, so we just made it out to PetSmart. Again, trip number two, and hopefully we get a crate. I don't know, I'm a little bit worried. She's acting like she needs to go to the bathroom, but come on. So I got to see a vet just kind of like as an emergency precaution because I'm worried about one of her stitches. And they gave her a little cone of shame and she don't like it. Poor baby. She's still cute though. So it's official. Her name is Luna. Do you like it? And we got this crate for her and we got a pad and that's her cones. I have to tighten it up and we got a few other things. We went to um, PetSmart this time and they were way more helpful. Or the vet that was there took a look at her, took a look at her stitches and um, she said she's probably okay but she needs that cone. See, she's going for it. and. Uh, that's not good because she's still got two more days with her stitches and then we're gonna go to the vet and take them out and get all her other stuff going but for now we have to take a selfie and announce that her name is Lena <laughs> priorities 
We're so happy to be alive. She doesn't know everything, but she tries. Oh, she's so sweet. Literally everyone was in love with her instantly. She's so cute and she's, I mean, with other dogs, she gets a little freaked out, but with people, she's like 100% into it. Gotta get that comb back on her. I just wanted to give her a little break. She was really hating it. And I feel so bad. I feel like she's been through too much already. Ugh. I really do have kind of like a just general attraction to like the underdog. I feel like my lipstick is like betraying me. I'm sorry if it is, but not even caring. So it's about midnight and she just wants to play. She got her duck out of her bed and now she's just going crazy. Shh. Luna is being such a crybaby right now just because she's not in the bed. How do I how do I manage that? How do I teach Doggy that she can't literally run me? <laughs> like if we're not physically touching or looking at each other in the eyeballs, she's pretty much crying. That's basically our situation right now. And I know this is a new home and everything. Shh. shh, shh. It breaks my heart. I just want to give her everything. Oh, this is kind of difficult. I knew it was going to be difficult, but whatever. I almost read it in my vlog because I got working on stuff and obviously we were chilling and she's been really, really sleepy ever since we got back from the store. Um, but she's doing better. She's been going potty outside and I've been able to like give her treats and that's really good. So I think that spray that I got is working. So that's really exciting. And um, yeah, so <sighs> this was a big weekend. It's exciting. It's like the beginning of a very serious, committed relationship. So I'm excited and Luna's crying. <laughs> and I don't know, That's this is my life now. And anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the name ideas. Thank you so much for all your support. Subscribe to my channel. Oh my gosh, I promise all vlogs will not be crying puppy from now on. We will work this out. Um, and you will come along with me in this journey like you've come with me in so many other journeys. And uh, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you. I love you. Bye.